Now, Donald Trump is touring Texas and he made several stops in Austin tonight. The Republican presidential candidate is in the Lone Star State to raise money and hold rallies. A large group of supporters packed into the Travis County Expo Center to seat the GOP nominee. Earlier in the day, during an interview in Austin with Fox's Sean Hannity, Trump seemed to soften his stance on mass deportation of illegal immigrants. But when he spoke tonight, he remained firm on border security and also renewed his attacks on political rival Hillary Clinton, calling for a special prosecutor to look at what type of access donors to the Clinton Foundation had to the State Department while she was Secretary of State. As expected, his rhetoric was bombastic, and while traditional Republicans have expressed concern about the tone and blunt words, without a political filter, those at the rally cheered him on. It can't get any worse. To those suffering, I say, what do you have to lose in trying Trump? What do you have to lose? I will fix it. Success has to be created for everyone, and it has to be available to everyone. That's how we're going to create a new American future. A big question this evening was just how many Texas Republican office holders would attend and who would be a no-show. It turned out that AG Commissioner Sid Miller was the only top GOP leader to speak at the rally. Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani and Alabama U.S. Senator Jeff Sessions were there to introduce Trump. From, Trump, from here, Trump goes to events in Florida and then later this week in Iowa. All right. Well, Trump supporters and protesters, they spent the day clashing over their political views. They followed Donald Trump to the Travis County Expo Center, where he wrapped up his evening. Fox 7's Bridget Spencer joins us there live with a look at what happened tonight. Bridget. Rebecca, well, about 100 or so people are still out here late into the evening. I'm going to step out of the shot. You can see over there, it is a pretty large crowd of people holding up signs. Now, Trump supporters earlier today lined up outside the ACL Moody Theater, but they were met with a lot of opposition, like the protesters you can see right here at the Expo Center. Goodbye, you're going to victory. Explain to me Trump University. He right. scammed innocent people out of millions of dollars. This was the scene at the ACL Moody Theater on Tuesday, a few hours before Donald Trump arrived. The presidential candidate came to the theater for a town hall with news personality Sean Hannity. Trump supporters lined up in droves at ACL Moody Theater to see the candidate, including the Burgeons. I would vote for Trump for several reasons. One, I don't like Hillary. That's the main reason. One reason I don't like two reasons. Our role in Benghazi, ignoring those people. We've lost a lot of our morals. And we've lost a lot of our beliefs that, that part made this country what it is today. Meanwhile, a crowd of anti-Trump protesters voiced their beliefs loud and clear. I don't like his incendiary rhetoric. I feel like uh, he supports hatred of everything that America is about. The big topic for Gilbert Cruz was immigration. It's a nation of immigrants at the end of the day. As supporters left the theater, they tell us Trump had a positive message. When supporters clashed with protesters, they responded with this. I don't hold it against them. I, of course it makes me mad too, but I'm not going to snoop down to that level. And I hope that they can educate themselves and make a valid argument. Later in the day, a crowd full of protesters with the Austin Justice Coalition and Black Lives Matter welcomed Trump outside the Expo Center. With polar opinions on the presidential candidate, Austin may have given Trump a memorable experience. The fact that he decided to show Austin being the liberal capital it is, you already know the fact that he's rooting for even more controversy. But in my personal opinion, if he wants to come to Austin, let's give him the big old Austin welcome. Just a live look back out here at the Travis County Expo Center. APD is out here in full force. You can see uh, Chief Art Acevedo right there talking with some of the protesters. Again, this is Austin Justice Coalition, Black Lives Matter, several other local organizations just out here in, the, I would say, in a couple hundred people out here right now. And as uh, some of the Trump supporters begin to leave, we're seeing a lot of them um, yell certain things to the Trump supporters as they leave. Now, moments ago, APD also was out here with their mount 
mounted patrol pushing or moving, I should say, some of the protesters out of the street. And again, Acevedo is out here in full force with APD. So it's been a pretty polarizing day and night. We've seen, as you can see, a lot of people are supporting Trump. You can see a lot of people are completely against them. So this will wrap up our coverage and we'll see how this election turns out in November here in Austin.